And it's the hottest entertainment stories coming up next right here on Tea Time. Hello and welcome to the program. I am Tekumbo Taiwo. Here with me are my usual co-anchors, Lakwe Banjo and Ife Oshinke. Yo. Hello, Tekumbo. Hello, I have missed you so much. Likewise. I feel like giving you a hug. I know, oh. likewise, I've missed you a lot. Like some. <laughs> I haven't missed you. <laughs> oh, babe. <laughs> Only joking, I have. Okay. But it's good to be back. And hmm? I'm not joking. Oh, whatever. So have you, been, have you been away to see Her Majesty the Queen? <laughs> no, I haven't. Why do you always do this every time I'm away? Where did you I go, you though? I went to the White House. <laughs> 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 no, I was just not feeling well. Gosh. Oh. I was just feeling very poorly over the past 48 hours. Very under the weather. Yeah, very Are under Are you the above weather. the weather now? I just don't know. Donald, yeah. he's doing right. He's building a wall to keep you out of America. Oh, okay. Yeah, just for you. Your America? Pardon? Your America. No, no, no. <laughs> when, did, when did you guys meet on the set of The Apprentice? Who, me and Donald? Um, we met a while back. We go way back, you know? Oh, you go yeah, way we back. Go really, really far back. We're talking which one of his wives? Ivanka um, or... I'm not actually familiar with any of his wives. <laughs> oh, I see. Mm. So much and for your... And his daughter, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> So much for your knowledge of Donald Trump. So much Trump. for yours as well. Ivanka is definitely his daughter. Um, no, but they have the same, they have similar names. Her mom is Ivana. Ivana. I, is it Ivana? I, because I keep mixing it up. Oh. Ivanka and, yeah. I, All thought, right. I thought it was because it was groping her, so you thought. That's what I thought as well, actually. I thought you were mixing them up because he said... A few, All right, then. Uh, we're kickstarting our storyline up with this scoop uh, regarding David Doe. He was seen in a video begging his fans in the public not to scratch his $300,000 Bentley. And um, I saw the video and I was like, seriously, is this what is going on? It's it was a bit really rowdy. Though, That's it? what I was going exactly. to say. I was like, out of context, they've, they've, yeah, out of, exactly. context, out of pro proportion. It was, it was actually <sighs> warning. Like, listen, don't touch my car. I just and then went, it, was, it was also a show off. Yeah, 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 yeah. He this loves that. This car now, three hundred thousand dollars. Don't touch. Who cares? But you love him. Yeah, he's my guy. For once, okay. you've made like you've put him to the test of. No, stop I showing look. Off. I'm not. Yeah, somebody, as you were saying. Yeah. I'm not somebody that because you're my friend, mm -hmm. then I see you doing the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. I won't tell you the truth. I never kiss behind. Are you, are you his friend? What? Are you David H's friend? No, I don't mean it like that. <laughs> no, don't Ooh. put me on the spot like that. And yes, You're famsing. I'm famsing. Yeah, famsing. David, Famsa. David is a is is, is a, a long is a, a friend. Associate. I know him from a distance. Oh, wow, mm. from way back. I say what's up to him on Instagram. <laughs> And he doesn't reply you, does he? Come on, he's an alumni of my school, man, Babcock. Oh, we have, get we over have, it. We have so a connection. You guys all claim to know. Yes, now, we have a connection, though. He got into school, like, years ago. Years after. <laughs> so, but he still went to my school. Mm -hmm. so okay, fine. so back to this story. It was rowdy, though, and there were a lot of people, so I was like... I wasn't really shocked, and I, again, I don't see why these made the headlines, because typically, David O's shows always have rowdy fans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's always... He actually connects with his fans a lot, which is why yeah. I think... That kind, those kind, that kind of crowd love him because mm -hmm. he talks to them, he lets them come really close to him. Mm -hmm. And you know, he's very, very like friendly with his the street fans, mm -hmm. as I would put it. So I'm not surprised, even when he comes on stage, what was it, the award show that they had, Heddies? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he came on with all of them. In fact, random people from the crowd were crowd, coming. Exactly. They got away with it because it was mm -hmm. David O. Mm -hmm. Now, in this case, I think he was warning them because he knows what they're capable of because he's yeah. used to how excited they get when he's around them. So, I mean, if I was him, I'd be thinking, you know, like, everyone really loves me. I've got a die-hard fan base, um, but actually don't mess up my car. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, I actually want to know what happened after. What, what would have happened after would have been a lot more interesting to find out whether or not they actually listened to him. Like, did yeah, they come... I, if you ask me, I think the only reason why I was telling them to keep away from the car was because um, he knew the moment the car started moving, they'll start, start running moving, after. People will start running after him, touching the David Doe, David Doe. So he just wanted to clear everywhere, like you guys shouldn't come close. But in such a rowdy place, he's got security you... though, and I would imagine that because his security always get into altercations yeah. with people, yeah. he probably told them first, look. Don't touch the car. Because obviously, if you touch the car, security is going to get involved and there's going to be another issue. So mm -hmm. I'm guessing that's the only reason why. Well, I don't understand why mention the price though. Because oh, that yeah, I can is a show off. We all know that about David Doe. He's still learning to fly his private jet. Exactly. See, what I don't get about him, right? And again, I'm going to shake the table, but I don't care. What I don't get about him is he's not like, he wasn't from like humble beginnings. He's, they've always had money, money, right? Yeah. So it doesn't make sense as to why he's still so like, 
three hundred thousand dollar car. Like exactly, oh. that's, that's my that that's, that's my point. This. No, but that's so like, new money. Like when you yeah, get new money, you exactly, behave like that. Exactly. He's got old money. Like mm -hmm. it's in their no, family. No, you know there's a difference between daddy money and your money. Regardless, yes. but yes. you're used to money. You're used yeah. to fame. Yeah, you're used to celeb life. You're used to looking at his own personal account and seeing zeros. Because I just thought it was just a complete show off the fact that he just mentioned that. If you're talking about the car, that I understand. Okay, don't touch the car, don't touch the car. Mm -hmm. But you have to tell everyone it's $300,000 worth. Yeah, no, he is a show off. And it is like, it's not just that. He shows off about everything and anything he does. Mm -hmm. And I just find it really bizarre because you've always had money. You've always been, like, you've always surrounded. I was, I was about to say something, an inside thing, but I'm not going to say it anymore. Yeah, go but on, they, spill. No, I'm spill not gonna, the tea, please. We're on tea time. Rich kids. No, no, no. We're on tea time, spill. No, I was going to say, like, they, like, they've, their family have always been rich. Like, they've always been around, I'm talking, like, American celebs. Yeah. So, for me, like, why are you still... He didn't need to keep up with yeah. the Joneses. They and wear the Joneses. He's always been doing this. This is not something that's new. Like, David O has always been someone that always shows off, always feels the need to mention that he's bought this car, mm -hmm. a sure burn. So every time, and it's almost like, come on, we get it. We know but you're But that's rich. what gets him the streets cred in the first place. Oh, please. Everybody it's not like, about no, your... Let me tell you what yes. happened, yeah. And you that's know this story doing. very familiar. But you, you're very familiar with this story because when he first came out, he released the Back When song. Mm -hmm. But Back When came out and the lyrics were Back When, when, I, when I Was Broke, Broke. Back yeah. When I Was This and This and That. Obviously, that's what people usually do because most artists come from humble beginnings. They mm -hmm. tell you about their rise to fame and stardom. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think mm -hmm. he tried to follow that same... Um, style, yeah. and people came for him. People that knew him came for him and said, "Look, you're rich. Your dad's a billionaire. Like, mm -hmm. why would you say that?" And then he came and did the opposite and did OBO. Um, yeah, right. I said, "What song came up? Dami Duro." Dami Duro, yeah. And like, he did the whole OBO thing, and it's selling, and it's doing really well. And I think people believed him, like, loved him because he was he stayed true to himself. Like, mm -hmm. he's a rich kid, and he's making his money from the like from the wealth that he already had. Now, when that's what I'm trying to say that. He only just decided to be this kind of person because of what people responded to, like based on, do you, do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Based on back when. So for me, it doesn't really make no sense as to like why you're showing off the whole time because you've always had it. Like, exactly. It's not but a, you know the funny thing? The more money is never enough. So you can actually get broke. I can actually say back when I was broke. When now I that's had what his response five was. Five million dollars. His response yeah. was to that was he never made any dollars. of his own yeah. money. So yeah, def he was broke because he because like you know he dropped out of school. His dad wasn't yeah. really interested in his music career. Was getting food money. Yeah, but daily. yeah. So it's not. I can okay. Still, you can still relate to yeah. him being broke. If I, I want you point. to conclude on this because you've not really said much. And because there's really nothing. This is one of David O's stories that I'm not really so interested in because. I, it just shows him as a, as who he is, that mm -hmm. we know he is a show off and mm -hmm. was just showing off. And it's a typical drunk David Doe night. So I think that. You that's, think he was drunk when he was saying that? Oh, David Doe is always drunk, bro. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, shit. seriously, he's always drunk, apart from when he's going for official. But if he's going on stage, if he's getting off stage, David mm -hmm. Doe goes on stage drunk. But you're saying it's like you know this, like the gospel. He's like, always there. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's I'm always saying it like I know the, the gospel because I do know the gospel. You see? I no, I'm you. saying, I'm, 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 what I'm saying is you're saying yeah. it as though it's like 100%, you're there to pour him mm -hmm. his drink and you see him progressively <laughs> get drunk. You Trust don't know me. that. Don't and also most artists... All right, guys, we need to move fact. on. We need to move on. <laughs> don't doubt me. Do you want to meet David <laughs> Been there, done that, babes. I can introduce you to Been there, done that. I don't need you to introduce me to Ooh. Are you sure? Ooh. Yes, okay. thank you. I think on that note, we're going to take a quick break. When we return, we'll be bringing you Scoop on Burner Boy. Don't touch it, don't change it, don't go anywhere. No, There's only one way to enjoy the FIFA World Cup. The Coca-Cola way. Celebrate from Niger to Russia. Just buy a coat, text the code under the crown to 5453 and you stand a chance to win a free trip to Russia to cheer on our Super Eagles live. So who's up for going to Russia? Coca-Cola, the official sponsor of our Nigerian Super Eagles and the 2018 FIFA World Cup. Welcome back, it's Tea Time on Plus TV Africa and we're about to bring you this scoop on Burner Boy who, who has, um, he basically pays homage to Fela in his yay video. Yes, yay, not ye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I just thought I'd put chip that in very quickly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the song's yeah, a banger. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, catchy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought you would sing it as well. I, I'm I surprised. Do like this song. 
<laughs> I've played it too many times. So, Biggie so you're tired of it. No day where. Ah, bah, that. Uh. <laughs> so annoying. Why do you always have a karaoke moment every single time? Well, he loves it all the time. Well, he does. He's a I singer, isn't he? You can't blame me. Anyway, okay. okay. So back, back to, to this video. Boy. He does pay tribute to Fela because he was carrying a um a flag, a flag, a flag and there were it. photos of um Fela in the um in the background in the scenery, uh -huh. pictures of Fela and stuff. Now, yes, guys, this is the issue you have with this. This is the issue I have with it. I see if I knew. The video is sick, by the way. Yes. It's a really good video. Mm -hmm. Clarence Peter shot it. Yeah. So it was a really good video. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the yeah, issue I have. because he shot it doesn't mean it has no, to be. No, but like Clarence Peter has a certain standard, you know, you can't expect below yeah. the standard from him. But that was a very good It was. It reminds me of the um, Aaliyah's, um, Aaliyah's, you know that song? That... Don't you know, succeed? Yeah. That one, it looks like that video. Okay, I think that's where it copied it because most of the video directors they copy concepts, from yeah, the yeah, video. yeah. That was definitely Elliot and them. Lucy Elliot, like yeah, 90s yeah. hip hop, because mm -hmm. that was it was really good yeah. video, anyway. So, the whole like thing to fella, like the showing page, like homage to fella and all mm -hmm. that is cool, yeah. Now, um, he has the flag, he has like you know, the legendary photo of fella, like with his hands up and mm -hmm. that kind of thing, which is a sick photo. I've got that photo on my wall, but anyway, um. And I'm a huge Fela fan, by the way. Okay. So for me, the only correlation between Burner Boy and Fela and Nicola Bocuti is the fact that his granddad used to play was no part. was a man was Fela's manager. Oh yeah, he used yeah. to play. As well. I used to play as part of the band, so he does have a direct connection to that kind of. And okay. yeah, there's no doubt he's been influenced by that kind of music mm -hmm. growing up. Now there's an issue with like Nigerian music. Well, not Nigerian music. I'll say. Afro beats. Okay. I don't know if you, do you guys call that, do you call it that here? Like Af Nigerian yes. Afro beats, yeah? yeah? So like, obviously. No, a certain genre. Yeah, that. but the music that we listen to now, like the Nigerian music, African music that we listen to now. Afro pop. Well, uh, this is what I'm saying. Okay, so in London, it's called Afro beats. Like any music that's from Africa. Yeah. It's called Afro beats. Yeah. But then there's also Afro beat, mm -hmm. which in, is for within, Lakuti yeah. and yeah. that whole sound, right? Mm -hmm. And everybody likes to jump on that bandwagon and claim that, you know, they're influenced by Fela and mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Half of these musicians can't play any instruments. True. So first, let's, let's but, be honest. Yeah. And, half, and let's not lie yet. Mm -hmm. Most of their lyrics are not to do anything to do with political, political activism. Yeah. You're not raising any Social issue. You're not, ra issues. Yeah, you're not raising any awareness. And even the things. style is not actually infused. It's not exactly. It's not infused. But everybody I just think, wants I to think... claim fella, fella yeah. all the time, dance like him, mm -hmm. any excuse to smoke weed. Like, do you know what I mean? So for me, it's like, don't conveniently say you're influenced by fella when you're really not. Like, people that are like that follow fella style of mm -hmm. music and raise consciousness mm -hmm. are not popular now. Like, even Femi Kuti, like, there's only a certain kind of, like, Nigerian audience that listen to him and, like, you know, feel that vibe. Even Sean Kuti. In fact, most of the, the conscious Nigerian music and conscious African music mm -hmm. is listened to by white people. Okay, all right. So, if like... Your, your okay. take. Um, in this case, um, what Lakba is saying is true, that a lot of musicians tend to claim they're doing Afrobeat. Mm -hmm. But in Bonaboy's case, I think he's doing hybrid okay. Afrobeat. True. In Is the sense that Bonaboy sounds to as that Afrobeat rhythm in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whiskey does some tracks. That but it's manufactured, Afro is what beat. I'm saying. It's manufactured. Like Jai Jai, that I had Femi Kuti. I'm talking about whiskey now. Yeah. That I had um, Femi Kuti on that. That was pure well, what Afro What I'm beat. saying is that it sounds nothing like Fela's beats. And no, it does. listen. Let's if you listen, you, what yeah, that's why I said it's hybrid. It's a Afro hybrid. Beat. Yeah, and that's allowed. Yeah, that's okay. allowed. That's perfectly fine. That's allowed. I celebrate that and I enjoy it because I listen to this music. But mm -hmm. what I'm saying is, lyrically, it's not conscious. There's no correlation to Fela Kuti. Well, Two, not all of them. Well, okay, so what's WizKid song? Can you say to me right now that Jai, Jai. <laughs> it's about it's living your conscious. best life? Yeah, it's about living your. And apparently, and apparently that they don't have a Femi political Kuti. message. Yeah, yeah, and even Femi Kuti was reluctant to jump on that song. Mm -hmm. Huh? No. That's okay. true. That's okay. true. No, Go that's on. a fact. That okay, he was on. reluctant to jump initially to jump no, on that song. No, but you know, if it has some inside knowledge, let's say what he has. If there may say. be your Whiskid's manager, well, can you let me know? Well, the reason why I'm telling you that, well, I don't know where you got your information from, but why I know Femi Kuti wasn't reluctant to jump on that song was because I watched the behind the scene, the and making that's of that Well, they're video. not going to tell you that he was Let's hear what he has to say. Let's, let's oh, yeah. see, maybe, because it would be interesting talking, to hear both sides. He was so proud of Whiskey that Whiskey could do that. And if you listen to Jai Jai, 
Femi Kuti, he didn't play like someone that was reluctant to jump on him because he played from the beginning of that song. He's on the, to the, he's on the very trumpet. He's end playing the trumpet. of that song. He's playing so an after instrument. you tell me I'm reluctant he's playing and then an I'm instrument. playing for about playing, four minutes and some seconds. Playing, no, if playing, I was reluctant, I won't play that long for you. He's playing an instrument. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Listen, Do you know listen, the amount of energy listen, it takes out of you to I get, blow I get what the you're trumpet to... for four straight minutes? Are you kidding me? Okay, listen, I get what you're Don't get to... him started. I'm not going to get him started. And, I get and what you know this is whiskey, so don't Yeah, I know. I'm not going to get him started. <laughs> I, get, I know what you're trying to do here. They're trying to see, like, you know, there is... And I'm not discrediting that. Your argument yeah. is very valid. But what I'm trying to say is that they're very, very far away from Fela's kind of music. Mm -hmm. as Fela's music was 11 minutes on average, like 30 minutes a set. Fela played at Glastonbury. Mm -hmm. Like, Fela is like... A and, legend. Uh, yeah. Icon. Yes, like let's not. So we no know. one at the moment can even come close. Maybe Wizkid, and we's not even. We can't even judge no, it. No, you can't even say. I'll, I'll rather say Bonner Boy is closer to Fella's sound than. No, Wizkid. I'm not talking about sound. No, I'm not talking about sound. sound. I'm talking about in terms of as an artist yeah. and okay, global recognition. Okay, okay. The only person we can like compare at mm -hmm. the moment yeah. is probably Wizkid, Wizkid yeah. and even that we can't really mm -hmm. say it for mm -hmm. now. Do you yeah. know what I mean? But Fella was like. All rounded, he came as a package. It wasn't yeah. just he played the instrument. He used to direct everybody. These on band, stage. like who, he which, to... which one of them has a band? Mm -hmm. they, which one of them can even say that? Um, are they Conley Gold? That's what I'm trying to say to you. That the ones that are similar to that, mm -hmm. so follow in that style, aren't as famous. Are the ones that are the ones claiming to remember mm -hmm. when Debanj came with the whole shirtless tight trousers and playing the um what's the harmonica that harmonica yeah, yeah like and he came out and did the whole style. Mm -hmm. I feel like dare I say it? Yeah, I feel like it's to an extent, I wouldn't say cultural appropriation, but they are appropriate in certain things about Fela yeah. and claiming to be influenced by him. I'm not saying no one's being influenced by Fela, do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, like you're allowed to. Like mm -hmm. we're all like very proud of Fela being Nigerian and that kind of thing. But let's be clear, like nobody is really directly following in his footsteps. Okay. Like Fela but took a point right. to the head Guys, of But do you know what I'm going to say yeah. Bonner Boy is closer to, to Fela's footsteps? Because if you listen to most of Bonner Boy's song, he's not talking about the partying, he's not talking about the girls. Mm -hmm. I think you need to to listen to some I more do listen Bonner to Boy. Bonner Boy. Thank so you if you listen much. to a lot of Bonner Boy, you I can tell that Bonner, Bonner Boy. Boy actually says political okay. stuff. Should we have in the this argument again way. after the show? He talks about <laughs> social <laughs> issues. Political stuff isn't trivial. Yeah, let's be clear. So don't trivialize it. We need to move on, guys. We need to move on. We need to move on. We need to move on. Yeah. After the show. I rest my Alrighty. All right, guys. I let me, as I always do, come in the middle, step in as moderator. So I understand where you're coming from. I understand where you're coming from. Sure. All right, our next scoop is on uh, Nollywood actress Juliana Olayode, also known as Toyo C or Toyo Baby, as she has announced that her parents, uh, she has announced her reunion of her parents basically after 17 years. So, Toyo Baby, Toyo Baby, Ice you. <laughs> I spy. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh. I'm a, do you watch Jennifer? Yes, I do. Yeah, I stopped at season five. Yeah, it's my guilty pleasure. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just watched the last episode on Sunday. So go on, what do us your own impression. Oh, because no, if hell, I just did his impression. No. Go oh, on. No, no, I'm not going to. Come on now. I'm not going to ridicule myself. Seriously. I myself shots. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> did you need effects to like get you in the mood? The person is, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> Instagram but, people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, no. so back to the story. So this girl, um, Julia. Like, but before you go, let me hear from Ife. I, you know, I want to save you. No, no, ladies <laughs> first. Uh? Yeah. Besides, she's missed a lot on the show. So on the show. Today. It's fine. Go on, if no, have your on. moment. Go on. Well, what am I supposed to talk about the story, right? Okay, mm. so, yeah, she's... I don't really see why this is... Again, this is not newsworthy mm -hmm. because, like... There's don't so many that. people's pet. Huh? Don't say that. Why I think I should go first. Now. Go on then. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's newsworthy? Yes, it is. Come oh. on, man. This is a girl that. Growing up, imagine your parents have been apart for 17 long years. Mm -hmm. You've been praying they come back together. You go and visit your friend. You see them living in a happy family with mm -hmm. their parents intact and everything. And it's not like you don't have parents. They're just separated. And then after 17 years, they come back together. And you share that story on Instagram. And you're telling me it's not newsworthy. And you're a celebrity. Come on. It's newsworthy. Okay, okay. like me, let me hear you. Now, take. this is why I said it's not newsworthy. She's not a celebrity. Chill out. She hasn't been on Jennifer's Diaries for oh. like six no, seasons but the fact that she's 
she's been on it however long it takes. If she steps out, exactly. people would still scream, to yeah. your baby, to your yeah. baby. That makes her a celebrity. Exactly. They she's still, still celebrated invite her for, for that talk very role. So is that it? That was, that's what makes you a celebrity? Well, in Nigeria. Well, yeah, that, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess so, because everyone because here is a celebrity. It. Yeah. She's not a celebrity. I don't consider her a celebrity. And well, she she's celebrated story, for that role. No, no one screams when they see me. Okay, exactly. But the people that need to scream when they see me scream, innit? Oh. So. <laughs> okay, like, wait, please, quickly round up The point I'm trying to make is that it's a cool story yes, it's nice and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But I don't consider her a celebrity, so okay. therefore I don't see why... Um, this is making the news. Yeah, and I'll tell you another thing why it's not newsworthy. I searched everywhere and I couldn't find it. Really? Yes, yeah. I actually had to request for the link. No. So not that many people found it newsworthy just as much no, as I did. No, because there was an error with regards to her name, though. I no, had no, to no, correct no. that. I already knew, I knew her name was Juliana Olayode. Oh, when I we see. We had it as Toyosi Olayode. Okay. A lot of people refer to her as Toyosi yeah. Olayode. So mm. even be, with both searches, it didn't come up. In fact, there, okay. were, there were more interesting stories about her before mm -hmm. that. But anyway, that's besides the point. But it was but, somewhere, though. I found it somewhere. That's my point. Like, I found it, yeah, as yeah, well. That's so. what I'm trying to say to you. And we're yeah. also on her yeah. Instagram page, my Oh, okay, okay, guys. <laughs> but bottom line is, not everybody, it wasn't headlines, right? And two, I was going to ask you guys. No, yeah. I'm going to finish my yeah. point. And two, <laughs> this thing happens to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Like, there's so many people out there that their parents have come back together after such a long time. But 17 really? years, though. 17 I think years. that's the longest yeah. I've heard. Like, B, do you know any story of someone whose parents came back after 17 years? I know years? people's parents that came back after 30. In Nigeria, after yeah. After 30 years. In Nigeria? Wow. Yeah, they're Nigerian. Seriously? But it wasn't in Nigeria, but they're Nigerian. That's what I'm saying. In Nigeria. Why does that make a difference in the story? It does make a difference, because wherever because you live has Nigeria. an effect. Your, yeah. Oh, my God. Nigerian <laughs> parents hardly <laughs> ever come back, even after two months. That's a lie. Let me tell you something. Nigerian <laughs> parents always pretend to be happy families on the wedding they're all uh, separated but they'll pretend to be happy okay, families. okay Pretends. guys we need to go for a quick break all sorry right, we'll be back no worries <laughs> all right so who wants to conclude so that we do this very smoothly this is not something that is unique to this woman yes 17 years is great and i'm really happy for her that she was able to witness an emotional side to mm -hmm. her family all the best that's it i mean so your yeah. baby jerry god bless your mom baby right. your parents Before are we... <laughs> back together we are very happy for you congratulations right, on their reunion all right before we take our next story we'll take a quick break and then we'll see you in two minutes don't go away sounds like you had a good time sir With over 500 flights every day, Emirates brings the world together through Dubai. Fly Emirates for a world of good times. Welcome back, it's Tea Time right here on Plus TV Africa and we're moving on to our next story which is regarding a rich man who shows up for a date in a truck and the lady in question turns him down. How very interesting. Oh, seriously. No Can I have some water? Uh, <laughs> have your for, moment. For lack me, please. Why? Why does she need it? <laughs> Why are you there? Why are you referring to me? Are you thirsty? No, I'm not thirsty. Oh, okay, fine. Because your colleagues out there just showed that <laughs> they are very thirsty people. <laughs> No, oh, sorry, this. before you go on, let's just clarify. This happened in South Africa, so don't make any reference to Nigerian women. Continue. African. No, but regardless, wherever it's taking place. No, African. but usually, the, whenever if a makes this comment, it's where it's talking about Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah, so so no, this no, even no, helps it's his not about point. Nigeria, it's about women generally. generally. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's usually about women. Okay, so like women. before I come to you, let if I have his say. The world. A thirsty and this guy, I think. <laughs> I think. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, it's about to get wait, interesting. Wait, wait, wait. wait for it. Wait, wait for it. It's about to get say? even more what did interesting. You just say? Women uh, all over the world uh -huh. are uh -huh. thirsty. 
good, very good. You so said you're going to come back to him on that. You said it with your chest, yeah? Yes. Okay. yes. Like, we're going to, we don't need to roll the tape. from my family members. <laughs> How very biased. <laughs> you're crazy. You're actually nuts. Okay, from my guys, family yes. I, I think quickly. we should clap for this guy. Like, come yeah, on, go on, guys. Let's clap for this guy, man. Yeah. Why? If I please, we because, haven't got much time. Okay, your because point. this guy just proved <laughs> my point. Everything I've been saying on this show Forever. about the women, yeah. he just proved it right. Now, this is a very rich guy who owns um, a flashy house, a flashy, co flashy cars, and Mercedes. he decided, Mercedes for that matter. I think about two. And then he decided to go with his truck. Mm -hmm. And then the moment he got to the girl's front yard, mm -hmm. she turned. just turned back yeah. and went inside. And was like, you're not taking me serious. And he did it three, uh, she did it three times, apparently. No, three what? different, different women. Oh, three different that. women. So she okay. didn't do it three times. Three different women did that, but he decided to share his thought experience mm -hmm. just to prove to women mm -hmm. that, look, you better be careful because these girls, they are so thirsty that they are going to put straw inside your pocket. And okay, Lakwe, let me ask you. Do you think, <laughs> Lakwe, do you think, because one of the girls was saying that, you know, that um, she's not taken seriously. Do you think that's the case? Now, I can't defend this kind of behavior. This behavior is not acceptable on, on like, you know, on under anything. Shush, yeah. don't do that to me because I'm about to make a really good point okay. here. Yeah. Now, there's three elements to this, yeah? Mm -hmm. Firstly... Why has this happened to him three times? Because it questions the kind of women you're going for. Yeah. 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 He has a certain taste in women. Oh, but so why are, all they, why are they all attracted to what you own? And why are they all turning away? Sorry, not every single woman in the world is going to wait for a man to come with a pickup truck and going to turn around and say, oh, you're not taking me seriously because what, you What, you think some girls would have accepted? Of course. What really? do you mean? Would, would you have you? accepted? First of all, can I just... Mm -hmm. That's my next point. Why? Now, I'm going to bring please. it to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it to me. Shut up. <laughs> I'm why, gonna bring it to me. please? No, listen, listen. Yeah, go listen. on. Yeah. The reason why I'm saying, secondly, mm. it speaks about, about the woman because mm. she obviously doesn't know him that well. Because mm -hmm. on the first day, I would have found out what you what you do. Mm -hmm. And if you're telling me that you do ex, you're an importer exporter, let's say for yeah. example, I would expect you to have a pickup truck. But yeah. now, this is what I wouldn't accept. Why are you showing up with that on the first day? That's what I'm saying. Like, it, come there on. is. I'm not saying I wouldn't get in it. Yeah. I'm saying that like you know, it takes a while to be that comfortable. Yeah. Like, sorry, you've looked at me up and down, and you mm -hmm. think I'm now gonna climb into your pickup truck yeah. and then sit there in this dusty car. It does <sighs> say that he's not serious about the date and no, the it relationship. Does. No, it just he's says just that gonna, women no, no. are thirsty <laughs> because if I had showed up on an Okada, mm -hmm. no, that's or different. A keke, you didn't have to show up. You know what? If uh, sorry, like, but let me just quickly say this: if this guy hadn't told them what he does and that he he has several cars, Why and he shows up, up on the first date, you know, with this well, car. Well, in this you know story, what? he didn't what? say he told them what he was. And we also don't know why the girls turned away. Otherwise, the girls wouldn't have turned and would we turn him down. That's not the reason. Yes, if they happen okay. three times, should we try this now? If it's should, a first date and they turn up, should we experiment? Should we experiment this? Like, let me tell Okay, do you know what? I challenge you to yeah. do the same. Okay, I would. Yeah, I dare you to and do the same. Don't do a pickup truck. Show up right, on a guys, bike. We're on out of bike. time. Yeah, and tell her to okay. get on the we're bike. We're out of time. I'll no, I'll tell And knowing the package beauty that Ife usually goes Who's for. Ooh. I don't go for package beauty. I think we're going to. <laughs> I go for Don't get me excited. They were, they were even abusing. That's women what I'm saying. Women virtue. Yes. Women The more reason uh, why they're going to reject your bike. No, you're not. With that, we're going to draw the curtains on this afternoon's episode of Tea Time. Join us tomorrow for fresh entertainment stories. Until then, and a big thank you to both of my co-anchors, the entire production team, and our stylist, courtesy of Kudi Empire. I'm Chukumbo Taiwo, and as they say in France, au revoir, rendez-vous demain. <laughs>